So hopefully you can see the paper clip that I have floating in the water. And again, that is due to the strong surface tension. And let me zoom in just to kind of get over a little bit more. And you can probably see at the bottom my other failures at the bottom that I've attempted to get. But the paper clip is floating in the water. And this is just water. And then I've got another paper clip where I dipped a little bit, I mean a tiny, tiny amount of um, soap on there. And let me show you what happens. Here, let me move this off to the side just for a second. If I take another paper clip and I just open it up without anything on the end and I poke it in the water, nothing happens as we would expect it to. Because there's nothing on the end of that paper clip that actually breaks the intermolecular forces. Okay, so there's nothing there. So that, that is proof that sticking something in the water doesn't break the bonds. However, let me grab this paper clip again that has a soap and I don't know if you can actually see the soap on the end. There might be a little bit of a droplet that you can see there, but as soon as this makes contact with the water, it's going to weaken the intermolecular forces causing the surface tension or the cohesion to weaken significantly causing the paper clip to drop. So I'm going to do it as far away from the paper clip as I can and as soon as I hit the water And so it, that just, the soap just immediately broke those hydrogen bonds. And it wasn't a whole lot of soap. I just had it on the tip of the, the pen. And if I tried to put another paper clip in here, it would not be able to be supported because I've, I've weakened a lot of the intermolecular forces or the bonds in this water. Pretty cool.